Um, it's like a lot of power, it can spin, over spin. So you want to pin your crank to prevent damage to your engine, but we have to go to Dodge to get that piece. I'm gonna show y'all how to um, install it. It's nothing for real, you just gotta like drill into the crank, um, the crank bolt, and then put the pin in, and then that's it. But right now, I am putting the rest of this E85 in this gas tank, then I'm going to fill this up with more E85. So yeah. If you're new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's on the way to 20k subscribers. Um, and yeah, make sure you like watch the last video. If you are not aware of what's going on, make sure you tap into like I think like the last three videos. And I also will um be collab. I mean not collab. Be basically tuning, like fine tuning, like getting the tune right how it's supposed to go. So make sure you also stay tuned for that. And yeah, get on with today's video. How y'all think it sound though? By um not yesterday video but last video, what y'all think it sound like? I think it sound like the beatings. It sounds like what was that one name I read in the comments? It kind of fit the way it sound. The devil. Yeah, devil cat. Devil cat. It sounds like it sounds like everything is the devil. Like everything you hear, like the supercharger. Oh. It sounds like. It sounds like what? The devil. That bit is screaming. Uh, it is loud. Like for the people that get to see this car in person and not on oh, YouTube. Oh yeah, y'all definitely want to like see this in person. By the way, like for sure, for sure, see it in person. Hear it in person. Not gonna want to miss it. Not even gonna hold you. Make sure y'all also bring some new ears if you ever buy this car. I was thinking about putting stand back on the back of the car, but I'm telling you now. Dude, it was shooting flames on the first startup. Yes. Literally. And I didn't even notice it until watching the footage. Yeah, it's gonna be incredible. But the devil cut, I don't know. Oh, I don't like the name. It's just that's what it was given. Like you asked it if it sound different. It sound it sound like that. But that ain't really the name for the cat. Not that one. Mm -hmm. Sorry, tough guy. Bloody cat. I seen something else. A murder cat. Murder cat. I feel like murder cat fit the car because you shouldn't be losing to no other cat. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a red eye, jailbreak. Right. You're gonna, have, you're gonna have to come correct. Come correct or don't come at all. That's yeah. a murder cat. Murder cat? Murder cat. We might as well make it an age limit to race the bit. <laughs> you can't be under 21 wanting to race this. It don't even make sense. Right, because we reaching felony speeds. <laughs> I don't think no one in there, bro. I gotta make sure. It ain't even 85. What you get? E75. <laughs> okay. Just got the pin set. This is kind of what it looked like. I'm gonna show y'all more once we get um to back to the car. But right now we is oh! at. My fault. <laughs> right now we is at racetrack. Finna get E85. Y'all finna be hearing me say that every time. That's perfect. You see how I'm balancing it? <laughs> Alright, so you got the um the pin. I'll say I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is like the drill bit. It's like a kit. So this is where you're gonna put the original bolt that's on your um crank. And you're basically just going to screw back in and drill a hole inside of the Crank pin, and this is what the pin looks like. Whoa! This Why are you up. so high up? This is what the pin looks like. Come down, bro. Uh, this is what the pin looks like. This little bit is gonna go in there and prevent extra damage. But what you want to do is you want to unbolt your fan, and then you gotta like unscrew like I think it's like uh, two screws you have to unscrew just so you can have enough room. But it's nothing for real, like it's just two bolts for the fan and unplug the fan and that's it. I'm gonna show y'all more of like um, drilling a hole. But yeah, that's really it. So what you're wanna gonna do, keep it up. You're going to want to um, basically remove the belly pan. I think that's what they call it. So it's like these screws along the um, bumper, the front. Bumper. I don't have um, the one that go back here cause I've been taking it out too much, so. I just decided not to put it back on, but I do have this one that I'm taking off right now. And after that, you should see the fan bolts. 
You just unscrew that and drop the fan out. Uh, let me see if I can show y'all where these bolts is. Let me find them first. I believe these are the two bolts you have to take out and then it's the same thing on the other side with it being these two bolts. So you take off, I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see, but if you look in here, there's two bolts. There's one on this side and one on that side. Um, right, uh, let's see. Well, I can't really touch it. So after you take those out, the fan should come. So after you take those clips out, the fan should come right out. Um, probably do is find like a block or something to push this to the front so I'm gonna keep holding it like so okay, so I'm just gonna put it right here uh -huh. yeah. like the easiest way I could figure out how to get the bolt off because um you need like a power tool and a power tool does not fit in between <laughs> why is there so much a power tool does not fit in but in between um like the radiator and the actual motor so this is the way I came up with to do it Is that it? I don't know, this is a bit heavy though. All right, so you gotta plug that hole. Which one? The one that was just leaking, plug it. This, this right here? Yes. Um, okay, hold on. I do recommend um help because, I ain't gonna lie, you might not be able to get it by yourself by yourself, but I've seen it done. This will go up here, down, I'm going to push down. You need more? Yeah. Why is there a knife under me? What? Where did that come from? <laughs> uh, so yeah. So right now we have to get a breaker bar and also um this tool, like it's like a holding tool. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there, the holding tool. So he is holding that piece in place while I turn it. And that's how you're going to get it off. There is no other way, literally. Y'all seen the past clips. So he's just gonna keep 
um, adjusting the breaker bar. And keep turning. It should be out now. So I'm gonna take it out and I'll show y'all. Kind of. After you take this bolt out, so you're gonna get this pin tool. You're going to you see the hole. You're gonna put this back in there, screw it back on, and this is where you're going to drill your hole and put the pin in. All right. So now after you get the um, pin, basically the kit pin in, you're gonna take your drill bit and screw up to the tape. Well, you're gonna to have to measure it, but I have tape on mine, and you're gonna drill that much to put the pin in. So we got the hole drilled. Um, let me show y'all the hole right quick. As y'all see, the hole is right there. So we finna just put, we're finna put this drill, I mean not this little, like the pin basically in there. And then that's gonna be it. We're gonna put the car back together and then we should be hitting the tuner up. And yeah, retuning the car, not retuning, but making sure everything's right. Well, I'm going to put this here with a better inventory. <laughs> well, that is that. So as you see, we got everything put back together. I just had to add coolant to the reservoirs, um, the supercharger coolant and the um, engine coolant. Then after that, I should be um, retuning, but like I said, just making sure everything is right with the car. And then, yeah. to do a fifth gear pull all the way to the red line basically like if it's on the dyno so we're gonna see if anything pops up if nothing pops up then y'all better stay out my way No knock sensors, no none of that. Uh, so now 
I can kind of show y'all what the tune is. That's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed today, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, comment down below what y'all think of the bill. If um, I should add something, if I take something out, if the pop is too much. I think the pop is actually just right. So yeah, um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we on the way to 20K. And we